Welcome back. Eight miles, that's the distance between both Zanesville and Maysville High Schools. Now the basketball programs, that's a little bit of a different tale. As Maysville Panthers coach Todd Whiteman put it, when compared to Zanesville, quote, we're a third world country. Last year, it was almost a Cinderella story for Whiteman's crew, who fell just shy of Zanesville in overtime, the closest of the Blue Devils' five postseason wins. This afternoon, the encore, Zanesville and Maysville, a sectional championship on the line at the Wigwam, and early on, Ryan Burrell scoring on the layup, 6-0 Blue Devils. They would open on a 10-0 run, the last bucket in that run, right here is Burrell. Floater in the lane, nails it. Zanesville out of the gate strong. Well on their way to another sectional championship. End of the first, here comes Maysville. Land in Israel, open, hits the three. 12-7 as we head to the second quarter, but the Blue Devils weren't done there. Cole Carpenter driving right around Land in Israel. Tough lay in off the glass. Four point game for the Blue Devils, 15 to 11 at that point. But then Ryan Cooper steps up, big time three pointer. And just because you don't see him doesn't mean he isn't there. It's a five point game at the break, 19 to 14. To the third quarter we go. There's Ryan Burrell. He had a game high 21 points, dialing up the three. Seven point game, the start of a 13 2 run for the Blue Devils, who would not let go despite a great performance from Landon Israel drilling a triple. He had 10 points on the night. And then here comes the play of the game. Cole Carpenter, baseline, throw down, and we will see you in the district championship as Zanesville takes down Maysville 50 to 37. Really happy with our guys and I thought you know a lot of compliments to Maysville you know we knew they were going to be very well prepared they did a great job of switching defenses and you know that kind of got us out of a little bit of a sink but yet we had some good looks so I told them at half listen we just need to relax we defended well we rebounded well we're going to make some shots and uh, fortunately for us we made uh, we made some shots in the second half. Coach just told us to uh, take our time relax you know we wasn't hitting shots you know he said it was going to come to us but it just came to us and we were just ready we were just pumped. It was good to find other ways to score. We were hitting in the first half. We were trying to get in the pain, get easy layups, and get uh, up tempo layups. It was easy for us. Hey, for those of you who love the spoiled ending that is the Century National Bank Subway Game of the Week, we've got it on TV for you tomorrow, 11:30, right here on WHIZ TV. I will be joined alongside by Chad Shogger for that one again. Zanesville getting the win. Now John Glenn also eyeing a berth in the district tournament, but they had to get through. The old arch rival Dover. The tornadoes have left the fish out of water and back-to-back -back OHSAA playoffs. Thanks in no small part to that man, Anthony Bonacco. Big three ball, six-point game. The Muskies out in front in the third quarter, but the fish would do just fine in this one. He thoughts it. I got you three right here. Nails it from the wing. Nine-point game in favor of John Glenn. Then Hagen and one to the hole. There's a reason that he was named co-player of the year in the Eastern District. Had 23 points after the make. And then Lane Crawford steps up. Jumper, foul, and the bucket would make the free throw. He had 13 points in the game. It's a 13-point lead for the Muskies after three. Dodson comes back in with another three-pointer. And then Jake Hagan, we just saw Cole Carpenter with this awesome throwdown. What would Jake Hagan do? He would let up just a little bit. That's okay. We don't hold it against you, man. What a game for Hagen, and what a game for the John Glenn Muskies who pick up the win over Dover. 58-42, they advance to take on the number two team in the state in Division II in Carrollton in the district final. On to Rosecrans, we head out east. The Nets were coming down at Union Local with the number one team in D4. The Bishops taking on Caldwell, and early on, Zach Kirkbride a triple, one of his five for the Bishops in the uh, first quarter. 10-5, Rosecrans at that point. Then Jake Phyllis driving in the lane, finishes at the rim. He had 13 points, 10 assists, 26-15, Rosecrans after one. Caldwell, Eli Severchek hits the three in the corner. Redskins down by nine. He had 10 points on the night, but the rest of it belonged to Rosecrans. Nice touch there from Zach Hill. And then Aaron Perry eventually will end up with it down here. And look at the big man. Nice patience. Throws it down with two hands for safety as he uh, has 11 points, 11 rebounds in the game. 35-18, Rosecrans out in front at that point. They were not done, though. Big-time three-pointer right there. Jared Dalton comes up with the trade. He had a season-high 15 points, and Rosecrans gets the win. 85-45, they take on Malvern in the, the district semis. Video. We won a lot of these, and all of a sudden it went away, and I've always told our kids, don't ever take these for granted. And uh, 
you know, I was proud of our kids. They came out ready to play, and we demand a lot of our kids in practice, but it, they know it's for the best, and, you know, you just want to keep going, and hopefully we can have our dream come true. You know, this is a good step at it. But we definitely want to continue to improve. Up takes us to the Twin Cities of Ohio, Denison and Uricksville, where Ridgewood wouldn't mind ending a long drought in the sectional championship, taking on Tusky Valley early on. Tanner Stouffer off the screen, nails the three ball, 6-6 six, six in the first quarter. Then they switch things around from the other wing, nails it again. Stouffer at 18 points, 10 of them in the first quarter. But Tusky Valley trying their best. Tyler Dozier to the hole, foul and the harm. 13-9, Ridgewood out in front. The Generals, though, would continue to build. Dozier here, driving into the paint. Evan Jones has other plans. Ball ends up with Kevin Davis, and watch this pass. Nice ball right there for Tanner Stouffer, who lays it up and in. And Ridgewood cruises to a big victory, 44-41. The first sectional championship for the Generals since 1994.